we're all we all have our own values and beliefs i mean what what's important to you you know and if they can't answer that then you know i just say they're not really interested in having a, a relationship or a conversation with me so now that's next. interesting and and you didn't actually tell us uh, much about about what you do do so what do you do if you're not a coach um i'm doing more about wellness um training wellness it's all you know with a thread of kindness in it right you know like kindness training but um more about wellness workplace wellness um helping people to be more um self-sufficient or mastery about themselves so that they are healthier themselves because my belief is just through my own i started promoting kindness in business 20 years ago Wow. And through through all my experiences, we're like worse condition than we were 20 years ago. Absolutely. But, and um, so what I realized through all the most the time that I've been doing that is that, you know, we all come to work with our own garbage, our own baggage. Mm. So we show up in the workplace and we expect everybody to treat us nice and kind and uh, expect all this personality stuff to happen. But meanwhile, we're all in the workplace with our baggage. And so we're all fighting each other and our baggage. So my goal is to try to get people to take a look at what they're bringing to the workplace. Who are they and why are they bringing whatever they're bringing rather than bringing the best selves to the workplace? Now, intra go on, sorry, were you going to say something more? So you're, well, I say you're quite right. I agree that things are worse now than they were 20 years ago. In fact, 20 years ago when I was in, well, maybe 30 years ago when I first started out, you'd all go out and drink at the pub and, and at lunchtime and it was quite a sort of um, very blokey, mm -hmm. um, but it was um, a kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But it's the kind of fun that masks exactly what you're saying about this baggage that people bring to the debate. So there was a woman uh, whose name I can't remember, but we spoke about us setting up this LinkedIn Me Too page. And her perspective was that these men are hurting and need to be helped. Now, I can acknowledge that as a rule, when someone lashes out or is just um, rude or, or, or sexual, it comes from maybe an insecurity or a pain. Mm -hmm. So how, how can other women watching these videos recognize in the way that you can? Because you, you've obviously got more experience. What can experience they look for? In what? In well, what? what can they look for in the way so if if it was for a younger person like gazelle like a 20 mm -hmm. or a 22 year old what should they be looking out for because the trouble is there was a story in the uk a couple of weeks ago on the bbc website that our, on average 12 13 year old girls so in secondary school are mm -hmm. getting 10 requests a night for nude or semi-nude pictures and so this problem that is experienced on linkedin starts in very early puberty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i i guess you know for me when that happens it's because the parents aren't teaching the young men <laughs> mm. you know proper protocols or you know manners or whatever you want to call i don't even know what you would call it but they're not really taught how to be a gentleman, for example. And more than that, sorry to interrupt. It's not, yeah, and, and they could be trying to do that. And then yeah. on the surface, they're, you know, trying to respond to their parents in the right kind of way, but they're not definitely, they're not monitoring their behavior. Right. So if they're looking at their devices, right. And yeah. seeing that they're asking for this, they can sniff that out. On yeah. the other end, if they're, their daughters, you know, looking at their phones and they're getting these things, I mean, if I was a father of that kid, I would definitely be aghast and taking some kind of action on that. Right. Not just to you know, only you know, say, hey, disconnect from these people or whatever, but um, even beyond that, because that's sexual harassment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It has to come from the parents of these children from both sides. But 
you know, if the guy, if the kids, the guys are asking for this information, you know, got to say, well, where are the parents here? Mm. And um, same with the girls. If they're going to respond, it's like, obviously, these girls don't have any confidence. They're looking for approval all in the wrong places. <laughs> mm. it's, inter know? it's interesting because I live in a block of flats and there's uh, a couple of presumably teenagers who are doing this Instagram shoot. And... Yeah. They literally spent about five hours with lighting and different makeup and stuff like that for one or two pictures yeah. as this idealized version of themselves. And yeah. you see, uh, uh, and you see, I've got to get you on. Tell me how to pronounce your name properly. Yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> Say again. Yes, Anasia. Anasia. <laughs> so you're of this generation, these young people that have only ever been on mobiles. Is this, yeah. So we know about some of the culture in India. Is this a problem you face? Or get uh, have you been asked for these sort of things? There are so many problems. You can see in our young generations. You know, mostly are teenagers. Now they are utilizing this Instagram platform. It's like, you know, they are like, it's like for them, it's, a, it's like a play. So I get a request. I have got all these Instagram accounts. I got requests like anything and very small kid, like 10 years, 12 years, they wow. try to flatter. They try to flatter, like simply this day, trying to, you know, manipulate some of the things and they talk and they, they try to hack you. You can say it's hacking mm -hmm. directly. So they try to like get a track, like you know, they mostly they try to say me in my now, I already explained to you about my business. So they try to track me like, Okay, here, ma'am. Uh, okay, I'm interested in your business. And then they ask my number, and that number directly video call without knowing anything. They said, No, actually, I like you. I like it. They like, you know, they don't have any kind of, you know, that, uh, what gotcha. you say. Yeah. So directly they approach. So you can see the teenagers are mostly now, I can say that this. Pandemic also it's a cause, you know, because they don't have now they are not studying, they don't have schools, they are, even the exams have uh, you know stopped, their exams are not ending properly. So they have enough time. So instead of that, they are not utilizing the time properly. This is simply some of them are they are wasting the time, but some of them they are doing it, they are utilizing it properly. Yeah. Okay, so you do get this and the fact it's coming from 10 or 11 year old boys is um yeah <laughs> what <laughs> mary lynn with with you are you do you right so okay number one linkedin isn't a dating platform but <laughs> what is the age profile allegedly of the people that are approaching you are you getting very young men or are you getting and it's not appropriate but if it was age appropriate um, well, they're not uh, per se young. They're more older people, probably older than I am, that are reaching out, probably most of them. So that then would indicate that this is a problem that has been going on for all of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, people that follow me, oops, he said dropping on the floor. People that follow me, that's my phone because I won't have anything to do with WhatsApp groups or yeah. alerts or pings and all this sort of stuff. Indeed, my entire approach to LinkedIn is a focused period at three, maybe four occasions throughout the day. And the right. rest of the time, I don't look at it. Right. So is the problem the parents? Because we're in different corners of the world, all seeing the same thing happening? Or is it the, so I would suggest that what in the 70s was recognized as pornography mm -hmm. has been applied to all aspects of life. So a food commercial is, you know, they, they puff them up and paint these things and make them so that they just look so amazing and delicious.